Hi, it's Gareth Williams here from secureyourwallet.com. We're going to have a look at Electrum now. So a good place to start is to head over to bitcoin.org, which is the main Bitcoin website, and go down and click on Get Started with Bitcoin. And then go to option number two, choose your wallet. And if we scroll down here to the bottom left-hand corner, and we have a look at desktop wallets, now, Electrum is another third-party wallet, but it's endorsed by the Bitcoin developers, so it's perfectly safe. It's a very fast wallet, and it's got very low resource usage. The way it actually works is it synchronizes with remote servers, and these remote servers download all the blockchain data, so you don't have to download any of this to your machine. Now, one of the major advantages of Electrum is that it creates what's called a seed, which is actually just a phrase of random words. And it does this when you install it. And as long as you record this phrase or this seed, if you ever lose your laptop or your hard drive crashes or gets stolen, whatever, you can always recover your Electrum wallet by reinstalling it and re-entering this phrase back in and you can get everything back. So this is a major advantage. You can also use Electrum very nicely across multiple devices and it'll synchronize across these devices. So it's got a couple of really good advantages and I personally use it and I personally recommend it as my wallet of choice if you're on a PC. So I'm going to head over to Electrum's website now and we're going to download the Electrum wallet and run through the installation. So if I head over to download and I'm going to download the Windows installer, but you can see there's also installer files for Linux or Mac OS X. So you click on the Windows installer. I actually have it downloaded, so I'm going to go straight to my Downloads folder, and I'm going to run the installation. So I'll click on Run. Just minimize that. And you come to the first screen. Now straight away, you see there's a difference between this installation and previous installations on the other wallets. It's asking you whether you want to create a new wallet or restore an existing wallet from its seed. Now this is what I was talking about. If you've got this seed recorded and you lose your laptop, you can go to another machine, run through the installation of Electrum, and you can restore your wallet from that seed. So this is an excellent feature of Electrum that the other two wallets don't provide. In this case, however, we're going to create a new wallet. So I'm just going to click on Next. Now, this is the seed that I was talking about. So we've got some random words in a phrase, and we've also got a QR code that you can scan. Now, what you need to do is make a copy of this seed. So the easiest way to do it probably is just to get the snipping tool, and you want to take a snip of this and save it. Seed. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop for now. And then once you have this seed, you probably want to print it off and keep it somewhere secure like in a safety deposit box. And you definitely don't want to leave it on your computer online so somebody can hack into your computer and recover this seed. You could put it in something like a TrueCrypt folder or hidden container. Um, so perhaps the best strategy is to do a TrueCrypt container on a USB stick and print off a paper copy and keep both of these hidden somewhere in a safety deposit box. And that way you've got your seed and you can recover it should you ever need to recover your wallet. So I've made a screenshot of that. I'm now going to click on Next. Now, part of the install they insist that you retype your seed to make sure that you have got a copy of this seed. So I'm just going to uh, move this over here, go to my snip that I took earlier. I'm going to type this out. You need to make sure that you get this absolutely correct because if you click next and you've made any sort of spelling mistake, the installation finishes and you have to go back and re restart the installation. So you might just want to double check before you click next that you've spelt everything correctly 
that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to click on next now it asks you for a password now this again is another excellent feature of Electrum in Multibit and Bitcoin QT you could run through the installation and you'd have your Bitcoin wallet up and running but it wouldn't be secured Electrum insists that you create your password before you actually install the wallet and this is a very good feature so it ensures that your wallet is password protected from the start so I'm going to type in my standard password once again make sure you use a very secure password here and Electrum is now generating our wallet addresses now this is the server bit that I was talking about it wants you to connect to a server somewhere to synchronize all the blockchain data so the best option is just to say auto connect click next and there we go we're up and running unlike Bitcoin QT we don't have to wait hours and hours and uh, you know it installs instantly and connects and you could begin sending and receiving bitcoins immediately so before I wrap this all up let's just have a quick look around the interface of Electrum so you've got your history tab which will show you a history of your send and receive transactions you've got the usual send tab so you'd put the person's Bitcoin address in that you want to send Bitcoin to and you've got the receive tab now unlike some of the other wallets immediately Electrum's created five Bitcoin addresses for you to use so you could actually um, get Bitcoin sent to any one of these five addresses you can then label them with whatever you want to use main wallet and then you could give them all different labels so if you wanted to use them for different purposes you can also create contacts now if you look down in the bottom right hand corner here there's an option here called switch to light mode now if you click on this you just get a nice small little simple interface so if you wanted to just be using Electrum and sort of keep it minimized this is a really nice option if you click over here it expands it back to the full version the padlock here tells you that your Electrum wallet is passworded you can create a new password here you've got your preferences over here so you can see by default you pay a transaction fee of 0.0002 bitcoins which is good you should just leave it set on that and over here you have the option to view your seed so if you ever forget your seed or misplace it you can always go back in here enter your password and you can see your seed over here again and of course the green light over here indicates that you are connected to the network and that's basically you know a sort of brief look at Electrum hopefully you found this video useful if you did please like post any comments or subscribe to my YouTube channel which is secure your wallet also go check out my website which is www.secureyourwallet.com I've got lots of reviews on there and I go into a lot more in-depth reviews on Bitcoin wallets and Bitcoin wallet security so thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you in another video